Okay, so here we go. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set this up in Studio One. And the first thing I did was already I dragged in a piano from Presonus. It's just a regular basic piano, uh, the presence. And you'll find that in the instrument section, you're going to find the Audio Modern. You're going to find Riffer. And you're going to take your riffer and you're going to drag it over to the bay window over here. Okay, I've already set up my mixer down here and um, that should work well. And let's see, so the first thing we want to do is we're going to take riffer and we're going to, and we're going to make presence work through riffer. So what we're going to do is we're going to, you see this area has presence, then all inputs. On this all input section, we're going to grab Riffer. Riffer will then show up and play on presence. But it won't play right away because there's nothing in Riffer right now to make sounds. So what we're going to do is we're going to take one of these keys. I'm going to use uh, F minor and I am going to randomize and I am going to play it. Sounds crazy. I know. Oops. So you can take it down to, uh, you know, to a normal uh, speed. Uh, probably 120 is probably about normal, but even that sounds crazy. It still sounds crazy. And uh, it's the first thing you'll notice, but that is okay. Don't be scared. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. We're going to fix all of that. And it's really due to their new density feature, which really makes it do trills and triplets and, you know, so, um, and we don't want it. We don't, well, I don't want it. Let's put it that way. I want to be different. So, um, so I'm going to change it to two and maybe make this one three. I noticed those are the safe areas for me, but you may want a melody with all those, um, you know, triplets and um, and uh, tr and like trim sounding uh, effects. And it's just not for me. So, but that is really cool that you have the option to do it because it's like having the fast hi-hats in trap music. So you press this and, and basically it's your randomizer. And that's what this this uh, dice is. This R means reverse. So I could put this melody in reverse. Doesn't mean that the sound goes in reverse. It just means that the melody is, is reversed. So like this. So now I'm going to press the R. Okay. And it still sounds crazy even with the, even when I tried the, the two. So I'm going to change this. I'm going to leave these all on one. That sounds a little better to me, but it's still crazy sounding. Um, so what you can do is take it down. Instead of doing it in 16th notes, uh, we could change this to uh, eighth notes. So I'm going to change these to eight notes. Uh, that's, you know, and that's what I just did here. And that'll slow you down. So now it sounds a lot more saner. So maybe we can add those uh, crazy ass uh, triplet things, figures in there. So let's do it. So I'm going to add two here and add three here again. So let's see. Maybe it'll sound different. That sounds a lot better. So it almost sounds like trap music right now. So, um, so say I, I like that and uh, and I want to keep that. So I, what you can do now in the riffer, they ha they've always had a way to save presets. I mean, as far as uh, the last version of it, and that is one of the cool things about riffer. It is what differentiates it from what is that other one that's that's a piece of shit that I really don't like 
Uh, I can't even remember the name of it because I don't think I have it anymore. Um, uh, but anyways, uh, it's a, it's another melody generator, but it but it never had the ability to save your um, presets. So I, I don't want to have to drag it every time to to a you know. I mean, it had the ability to take the MIDI and drag it to a track, and then you could save it that way. But I like the fact that. I can just keep it in the program. I don't have to do that. I can get on to my next idea. This is what I did so far. So, so uh, if you want to do, if you want to keep this melody, all you have to do is. So, I think it's cool. So I go, oh, cool. I want to keep that. So all you do is, to save a preset is to press the plus button. So now I have it. And say I want to change the key. I can change the key. I could change it to G. And uh, but I, I like it in F. So I'm gonna keep it in F. The cool part, so I have other melodies that I saved in here, and I want to show you what you could do with and, and the reason I saved them is because I figured you might want to see uh what you could do uh with a little bit of doing nothing. <laughs> I I played around, I grabbed uh something and let's see so let's do a quick sort of trap type sound type thing i'm going to grab this quick drum loop and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to change it to one that i had i'm going to change this up to what is a trap melody like one i don't know 130 i think that's the lowest you could have 130. okay so i'm going to take this so it's going to sound like garbage when I first do it, but you're going to understand what I'm doing because I'm going to, because it's at six, what is it? Once, so it's at 16th, I'm using 16th, so it's going to, but I want to show you what can be done. Horrible, right? Thank you. All right. So what I'm going to do is what every other uh, trap person would do is to get halftime, take that half time and put it on my track right here on presence on that uh, piano sound so now we're gonna get rid of that so that 16th note uh, line is gonna sound like this so let's bring it back to the beginning and now boom all right and so the cool part is that I can change it, change it in the midst of it. So now I'm going to change it. So now it also went to a different key, which is even much better. So now I can go back and here we go. And I'm going to take it back on time and, and that will make it different from all other trap because a, a basic trap would make that fucking loop for fucking forever and you just hear that thing going constant constant but the cool part is that this one changes key changing key is different from all other cat uh, all of the trap music and uh so once you do that you're different from everybody else and and just like when you had when they first discovered the fast hi-hat you know, I'm trying to do something different and not, and be original and uh, you should too. So do what I'm doing. I, you know, I don't care. Make a million dollars. So, um, um, so I want you to do your own thing and believe me. So my next video is going to have uh, problems with this thing. Um, because there are some issues that I have with it and uh, I will concentrate on that. This is just to get up and running and to move it or lose it. So let's do it, man. <laughs>